is the UAP Season 73 Volleyball. After a uh, an exciting neck and neck first uh, set or first part of set number yeah. one with Lasal committing a few errors, all of a sudden with the with the serve of Michelle Gumabao, oh, oh, oh. Lasal was just perfection in action. That's right. As they forced Adamson to a slew of errors and coasted to uh, the win in set number one. That's right. Um, Gumabao, I think, scoring 11 or 12 points off of the serve, mm -hmm. and uh, that that alone really changed the complexion of the first set. Um, uh, De La Salle just kept on piling the points with uh, less, very, very little effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, tuloy -tuloy lang. And before Adamson knew it, they were down by 10, uh, 9, 10, 11 points. And for the side of Adamson, what really, you know, um, did them in was their lack of a good reception. And that that uh, went through all the way Gumabao served. So, dun sila nahirapan. But definitely strong performance from the De La Salle squad, like Chak Cruz having her moments. Mm -hmm. Of course, Steph Mercado also contributing. And of course, Jack Alarca in the middle. So, the game plan of De La Salle so far has been followed for the side of Adamson. Yung defensa na ating inaabangan sa kanila, especially their floor defense, it hasn't shown up. In fact, talagang zero for uh, for the first set. So, they, they have a lot of things to talk about. Probably Coach Dulce needs to tell them that let's rely on our strengths. Let's not forget what we're good at, and that's where we should start. For the side of De La Salle, I don't think they need to change anything because mm -hmm. they, they've done a good job in that first set. Look at this 12 attacks for De La Salle, 8 for Adamson. It is in Sabin Athen Service Aces, 3 0 for Adamson. So that shows you the mentality of this De La Salle squad treating the serve as the first offensive move in each. Uh, in each play, of course, unforced errors, eight for Adamson and three only for De La Salle. Plenty of tweaking for the Lady Falcons as they found themselves absolutely shut out by La Salle. Almost the entire latter oh, half oh. of set number one, yeah. Know? yeah. Number two, we have De La Salle to serve with set number two Mikaela. just about to get underway. Mm -hmm. Adamson also having a lot of attacking errors. Remember those. Uh, those uh, mishits coming from Ortega, mm -hmm. Benting also having some of them. Those net violations, those simple service errors that they uh, piled up in the first set. Uh, that's also what uh, did them in. Cruz. Cruz picks up where she left off. Again, another cut shot that caught all of the Lady Falcons. Uh, uh -huh. You know, by surprise. That's right. That ball rolled the full length of the net before it decided to <laughs> to roll down and it, you know hit the line exactly on the line. La Salle undefeated oh. at seven and zero. That set that's by Patilano straight into the blockers. Oh yeah, Soriano, no chance na may punto siya, no? That's right. You you go to a big quick play with Alarca and Gumabao, not even needing to move laterally. It's like you just set it up for those two big uh, blockers of De La Salle. Whenever you're faced with tall blockers, you've got to make them run to the left, run to the right to uh, to get an opening in the block. Exactly Boom. what they did in that play. Ortega. Ortega able to get the point against the block of Chak Cruz. Take a look here. That was an underhand set at that. And Janet Ortega making good of her minutes here in the absence of Zapanta. One serving two. Cruz had to readjust on the fly. Wow. Jackie Alarca with a tip. Alarca, parang di na kailangan tumalan, ano? Titingkat na lang. That's how tall and athletic she is. She was kind enough to just tip it in. Di na pinalo. Di na pinalo. Di na kinargahan yung palo. Patilano has her work cut out for her. That's a bad set right there. Almost giving it to Gumabao. Sent over on the first touch by Esperanza. Soriano tipping it over. Esperanza back set to Gumabao. Double block was there, yes, but Michelle nobody Gumabao. picking it up behind the blockers. Substitute. Gumabao smart play. Seeing two blockers there. Pinatama na yeah, sa kamayan. That's right. Kita mo naman yung angle nung uh, straight into the fingertips of the blockers of Adamson. Straight away to a three-point lead for La Salle here at 4-1 in set number two. Benting with momentum. Jackson gets the point for Adamson. 
as we check in with Jessica Mendoza. I think a set like the first set in this game would leave any coach smiling, Eric. And, you know, Coach Ramil actually showed his dimples during the huddle. Still, instead of, you know, getting angry at the girls or loosening his grip and allowing them to relax, he further enforced what seems to be a no-mercy kind of attitude. He needs it in the greatest season, but I have better anticipated it. Told them, adding that they should not allow Adamson any chances to position themselves properly. He added, "What can you much do? Make matale and do it like Eric and Ian." Thanks, Jessica. And indeed, pinapakita ng ito nila Steph Fergado, no mercy attitude as yeah. they just keep yeah. on attacking. That's right. Unrelenting attacks and power being unleashed here by Lady Spikers of Lasal. Good one-handed save by Chakru Steph Mercado. Ako naman, tinitignan ko yung dimples ni Coach Ramil. Eh. <laughs> Teka, lingon-lingon ko lang. <laughs> oh, nice set. That's a nice yeah, set from Esperanza. Oh. In full control of this match, Esperanza. Everything that she throws up turns into a point. It's just that simple. Ayan na, si Coach Ramil. <laughs> oh, si <laughs> Dimple nga. Ano yun? Ano yun tuloy ang ngiti ni Coach Ramil? <laughs> Direct Abed gets that one. <laughs> nice job by our director, Direct Abed. Good angle, ano? <laughs> huling huli. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you can't help but smile if yeah. you know, Lasal keeps playing like this. Why won't Mabaw. you? Oh, man. Go Mabaw. Six to two, Eric. Just uh, picking up where they left off in that first set. Lasal is playing just a level. Maybe four yeah. or five levels, yeah. actually. Not a level, but uh -huh. four or five levels above everyone else. Mm -hmm. And right now, especially above Adamson. Alarka, floater. Change of strategy oh, here by uh, Coach Banji. Uh -huh. I mean, that uh, Coach uh, Dulce Pante as she right. changes Soriano. her setter para maiba yung flavor ng oh. offense. No? And Makatuno is inserted instead of uh, Patilano. Benting. Oh, that was outside. outside. Well, she was trying to do what she does best, trying to hit it off the block, but you know she missed the hands and uh, that ball went straight to the outside. 8-3. Lasal is on top by five. Lasal, after a rocky start in set number one, just seemed to have dial in. The, just the perfect place and have really made the most out of them yeah. as they are absolutely coasting. Set number one, 25 11. That's right. 8 3 advantage here in set number two. Well, if you're going to analyze what Coach Ramil is doing, remember they were in the same spot last year, Eric. Mm -hmm. They swept the first round, but what was the end result? They lost it to USD in the championship. So Coach Ramil, you know, doesn't want to take chances this year. Instills in the players, kahit na lamang, uh, we, we demolished them in the first set. It was an easy first set win. Don't and let your guard down. Very easy to say, Coach Ramil. Still put on uh, the normal performance that you... That you don't look at the scoreboard. Just look at the last instructions of coaches. Don't mind the scoreboard. Just do, do whatever you do, play by play, in a normal situation and uh, wait for the last whistle for the set from the referee. That's it. No mercy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, instructions. Oh, and coach Ramil De Jesus. Tip over. Oh, nice save. By Esperanza. As we listen in this time to Patch Gansana. Bad start for the Lady Falcons. It seems to be that Coach Dulce is questioning where their focus is. There certainly is no unity on the court, and the girls seem to be tense that Coach just couldn't understand why. There were a lot of errors committed, and one major cause of these is that the girls weren't where they were supposed to be. The quick was lost, and the open was too. Poor positioning for them. And at the same time, their receives was pointed out. They do have coverage, but they need to receive the ball first. A trivia. Now, these girls are trained in the Adamson gym in such a way that they play against the men volleyball team of Adamson. That's why they should be more aggressive now for coach since they are going against the girls. Back to Eric and Ian. Thanks, Pat. Wow. Wow. Baka hindi binubuhos ng men's team yung pinaparosaan to women's team because they just can't seem to really protect the floor. Oh, sinutas na naman, ano? Kanina, ang ganda ng tip over ni mga anyo, kitang-kita. Not even using enough juice, pero nakuha agad nila yung point. And here, Chuck Cruz, the, uh, the spike is softened, right. pero hindi rin nasa from behind by the, by the, uh, the defense. That's, that's right. Also, um, um, 
remember with the uh, with the exit or with the graduation of Lizzy and Gata, the best libero so far uh, in the last, the last season. Talagang malaki rin yung void na na iwan niya sa defense at being the, the libero for Adams for the past four or five years. So uh, Vasquez really uh, has the feeling of uh, the role that uh, or mm -hmm. the talent or the expertise that Gata shared with the It's team. an ace. A rare easy point here by Makatuno. And the Lady Falcons as Gohing misjudged it and let it go for an ace. Six serving 11. And laki pa rin ang kalamangan ng Lasal here in set number two. Esperanza, Maranyo. Abigail Maranyo. It seems like Adamson is moving at half speed compared to yeah, Lasal, no? You're right, you're right, Eric. Abigail Maranyo to serve. Coach uh, Minerva. Telling Makatuno, you can't kind of step going to any, you gotta move going to the wall. You, you can't just dive to the ball, you gotta move your feet. Nice, touch that. Oh, that was wide. It's wide. Yeah, missing the mark. Hitting it wide. And again, these are easy points they're giving away to De La Salle. Nothing going right for Adamson. While para sa La Salle. <laughs> As I was about to say, Hinabul ni Abigail Moranya. She tossed the ball a bit far away than normal, than what she wanted. See, she's, she's gonna move out of her comfort zone, move going forward, and that led to that uh, service error from uh, Moranya. Well, Lasal, not so perfect after all, as they give a free point away. Let's see what Adamson does here. Good job, Paul Soriano. Paul Soriano. That's right. That was the play that was missing in the first set when De La Salle just pulled away. This is what Coach Minerva Pante na wala quick. Now they uh, they have to remember that they also run in the middle. One of the best attackers we have in the league. Alarca almost dunking that ball. So si Soriano. There you go. Back to back points. Another one for Paul Soriano. Adamson starting to get their rhythm going. Importante lang sa kanila, as you can see, is that first touch, you know? And now, concern time is Coach Ramil Diaz. As soon as he calls a timeout, mm, let's listen to La Salle. Kung paano yung kasama niyo eh, ibig sabihin tumukuha ng, ano, ng misreceive o di depensa. Cover kayo si Lalin. Hindi po pwedeng kumukover, kumukuha yung kasama niyo. Nakatayo tayo sa taas. Ha? Umangat ng konti, may save na yan. Umangat yung bola, sayang. Okay? So, huwag natin, huwag natin pahabulin yung kalaban ninyo. Malayo yung lamang. Such killer instinct para kay yeah. Coach Ramil Diaz. Ano? Kumabula ng kapraso ang Adamson yep. and right away. Yeah. He stops the play That's right. and will try to stop the momentum of Adamson and correct whatever error That's Lasan right. has been committing. That's right. Still having a four point lead. It's only 13 to 9. Calls a timeout. Says to the girls, yeah, we're on top, but uh, I don't want you to waste this lead. Plus, I didn't see the dimples in that timeout, so that's a bad sign for the <laughs> De La Salle Lady Archers. And not right this away, time. Not right, this timeout. Right away, La Salle responding by setting a uh, running spike for Jack Alarca. 14 serving 9. Very consistent server is Esperanza. Oh, and a block by Gumabo and Alarca on Pau Soriano. Yes, yes. Good recognition by these two blockers. They know that it's going to Pau Soriano. For Pau Soriano scored the last two points. And uh, they know that she's, uh, she's the one to guard in, uh, in this rotation, not Pineda. Good recognition by Gumabo and Alarca. And what a heartbreaker it is for Adamson. Your one and only consistent scorer gets denied and now uh, the defense block, the confidence of the defense wall. of LaSalle starting second, to build second, up second. again as they deny Pineda right there and take us to the second break of set number two they're in full control again 69 <laughs> there the defense of LaSalle La Salle showing its teeth here as they, that's the second consecutive block. The first one yeah. was on Soriano, this time on Pineda. And that's the right. same usual suspects at the net, Sigumamo yes, and yes. Alarca, no? Ganging up on the Adelson attackers. Oh 